This is Catherine from Accelerated Reader. Today, I will continue to read Annalyn, the Canadian Spy by Sean P.B. Robinson. This is the last chapter, chapter nine, Annalyn meets the cold. When she awoke, the jet was landing outside her house. It was quite dark and the little clock inside the cockpit of the jet said that it was midnight. She never stayed up that late and felt very tired but the nap on the way home had helped a lot. Annalyn climbed out of the cockpit and down the ladder. On the street below her jet, she found Agent Rick waiting with Steve. The moose. Ah, raw, said Steve. What my supervisor said was, well done, Agent Frank, said Agent Rick. We are all proud of you. My name's not Frank. Annalyn said. Agent Rick looked down at Annalyn's ID badge. Annalyn looked down at it as well. It said, Agent Frank. Wait, Annalyn said. The name badge is wrong. My name is Annalyn. Then why are you wearing that name badge? Agent Rick asked. Because Secord gave it to me to wear, Annalyn said. Steve then said, Arra! And Agent Rick translated, You should go in and see your family now. You did such a great job, though, that we will probably call on you again to help us out with another mission one day. Did the moose really say all that? Annalyn asked. Agent Rick smiled and said, I speak fluent moose. It is one of the reasons I got this job. Secord actually speaks fluent moose and maple tree. Now maple tree, that is a hard language to learn. Wait, Annalyn said, I rescued the tissues. So now we have them, but we only have one box for the entire nation. Agent Rick looked at his feet and Supervisor Steve stared off into the sky for a moment. Each one looked embarrassed. Annalyn had never seen an embarrassed moose before. Well, Agent Rick began, um, well, thanks for going to Norway to rescue the tissues, but shortly after you left, we found a supply of tissues. It turns out that wasn't our last box of tissues after all. Where were the other tissues? Annalyn asked. Well, Agent Rick said, he still had an embarrassed look on his face. We found some at the store down the street. Then we realized just about every store in the city had some boxes for sale. Then we realized your box was not the last one, but just the one that the Ederenigst Jeniston stole. So I did all that for nothing? Annalyn asked. Kind of. Agent Rick said and gave an embarrassed laugh. But the good news is we now know that you are an excellent spy. We will be calling on you again someday, Agent Frank. Agent Rick turned around and climbed into his Honda. Annalyn watched as Steve climbed into the passenger side of the car. She wasn't sure how a moose fit in that tiny car, but somehow he did. Annalyn ran up the steps to her house and in through the front door. Inside, she found her family. They were still sick and they lay on the floor and coughed. She quickly handed them the box of tissues and said, I rescued this box. I got the tissues back for you. You can now get better. Thanks, sweetie, Annalyn's mom said. That was so nice of you. But we found some more tissues just over there on the table. I forgot that it was on sale last week and I bought 144 boxes just in case we ran out. Oh, Annalyn said, I see. How was your spy mission? Asked her dad. He followed up his question with a cough. It was great. I got to pretend to be an opera singer and I was chased by NIS agents and I got to fly a jet 
and I talked to a moose, and I got to visit Norway, Annalyn said with a big smile on her face. That's great, dear, her dad said. I'm so proud of you. I knew you could do it. They chose the right 10-year-old girl for this mission. Her parents and her little sister all came up to her and gave her a big, long hug. Then they all sneezed on Annalyn. Annalyn got sick. But at least she wouldn't have to go to Norway to get more tissues. The end. The adventure continues in Annalyn, the Canadian spy, Donut Disaster. Thank you for listening. Give us a big thumbs up and subscribe.